guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here my name is Hannah Renee and it is so nice to meet you. Today I'm going to be doing a winter clothing accessory shoe makeup haul just to show you some of the things I recently picked up, the things I've recently been loving. I'm not including anything that I got for Christmas because I did a Christmas video so if you want to see the things that I got for Christmas I'll link those down below because I got a lot of clothes for Christmas so I'm not going to share any of those but I'm just going to share things that I bought with my own money just over the past few months and without further ado let's just jump right on into this video. I'm going to do sweaters first so the first sweater that I have this is from H&M and I picked it up because I was in London and I was freezing. I was so cold in London so I picked this sweater up just because I needed something to keep me warmer because I was not ready for that weather. So that's why I picked up this sweater but it's just this black and white striped sweater. It's knit and just your basic striped sweater. There's not really much to explain about it. The next one my mom actually gave me because she got it for Christmas and she didn't like how it looked on her but it's this mustard yellow sweater from American Eagle and it just looks like this. It has the stripes across the front but it's pretty long because it was for my mom so it's oversized on me which is a good fit so I like this sweater to add to my little collection. This I just bought with my own money because I love Target and it's from the brand Wild Fable, the new brand at Target and it's just this Everyone and their mom have been wearing these sweaters, so it's just this button-down sweater and it ties at the bottom and it's like, I don't know what you would describe this material to be. It's a little bit ribbed, I guess you could say, but this is one of my go-tos. It's very thin though, so it doesn't really keep you warm, but it's just something cute and cozy to wear. The next sweater is actually one of my favorites. If you follow me on Instagram, you know, but if you don't, why not? You can follow me right here but I post so many pictures in the sweater it's this sweater from PacSun it's a crop sweater it's blue and yellow and white striped it's just one of my favorites I almost debated not picking up but my friend Lacey told me I had to and I'm really glad she did because I love love this sweater this one I actually just got on my trip and it's from the University of Tennessee it's this champion sweater it's this just a blue navy blue sweater with the orange tennessee on the front and i just wanted something from tennessee and i liked this one because it's also champion so what can you do this was a great thrift store find that i had a couple months ago but it's this champion sweater as well and it's just another navy blue kind of gray champion sweater but I found this in the men's section. Don't ever sleep on the men's section. I found this at the men's section and I'm really glad that I picked this up and I happened to look over there because it is super cute. Now we're gonna go into more just regular long sleeve tops and the first one I have is from Wild Fable. It's this blue ribbed, just cropped sweater, shirt thing, whatever you wanna call it. It's pretty thin so I wouldn't consider it a sweater. But the crazy thing about this is this totally looks like something from Brandy Melville but it was way cheaper at Wild Fable. So if you're ever looking for some Brandy Melville dupes, I see them all the time at Target. So make sure you check this out. Now this is an actual Brandy Melville shirt and it's actually the softest shirt that I own in my wardrobe. And I got this in London. It's this just long sleeve gray top. It says London UK on it. And I love wearing this. It's just so soft. It makes me want to get all cozy in a blanket. It's just a great material. So if you're ever in London. This shirt is actually from a conference that we did at my church. We do something called Fire in the Valley. It looks like this. It's just dope. That's why I thought I would include it. And it's from the conference that we had just a few months ago. So that is our Fire in the Valley shirt. Plug, plug, plug. And this is a shirt from another conference that I went to. I actually vlogged that one. It was youth convention. And it's just, I don't even know what college or organization it's from. But me and some students wanted to get it. So it just looks like this. It says, be equipped for God's calling on the collar. And then it just has some cool stuff on the side. We all just thought it was really dope. So that's why we got it. 
This next thing is from Wild Fable again, and it's just this cozy, fun flannel. It's blue, brown, red, yellow. There's just a lot of colors in this, and it just makes me feel like it's woodsy and a little bit rustic of a shirt. I don't know, I just really like the style of this shirt, and it's just super cozy and wintry and all of that. Try not to say cute because every YouTuber gets bashed for saying cute so much, so this is a fun, woodsy, rustic shirt. I actually got this shirt a few days ago when we went to Elevation Church, and it's something they gave us for free for being a first time. It's just this Elevation Church shirt. If you've ever heard of the band Elevation Worship, they're some of my favorites, and I just really love their band, so they gave us this free t-shirt. Thought I should include it too, so... Now you can see this fun t-shirt that I have. These next two shirts are Brandy shirts, and I got the classic Honey t-shirt. I've been wanting this for a while. It's been on my Don't Wish list for a while. So this is just the classic Honey shirt. It's cropped yellow. It has honey right there. You already know what it looks like, I'm sure, so I'm not going to go on and on about this shirt too long. Then I got the Natives of the Golden Coast shirt. It's also cropped about the same size and it's just a cute summery top as well. It's got the same logo on the front, on the back. It's just bigger, so this will be a super cute top for summer. I haven't been able to wear it much since it's cold and you can't really style this very well. You can, but whatever. These next two items are pants and jeans. I don't really wear anything else other than jeans. I live in jeans and leggings sometimes, but these are from you guessed it, Wild Fable. So these black mom jeans are ripped and they are just your classic mom jean style. They're pretty straight legged on the bottom. I mean, they're not super skinny, but they're still straight legged. So you probably have mom jeans, you know how it works, but these are also high waisted as well. So it's like everything that I wanted in a pair of pants. I got these on Black Friday. These are American Eagle jeans. Let me look at the exact name for them. They're the super high-rise jegging and that's exactly what I want as well for all the crop tops that I'm going to wear in the summer. I need some high-waisted jeans. So there's holes at the knees as well and they're just skinny jeans. Um, and yeah, there's not much else to say about that. I haven't been able to wear this yet, but I am getting it in preparation for the warmer weather. It's this adorable blue dress. It's a maxi dress, so it goes all the way down to my feet, and it's just a little bit ruched, if that's the word, um, up at the top. But it is so cute. It has little yellow and orange flowers on it. I'm so excited to wear this in the spring. It's just something that I can picture myself wearing on a fun, sunny Sunday morning. Mm, that just sounds so good. So I'm starting to get clothes in preparation for the springtime, and that's why I picked this up just a few weeks ago, I think, and that's why the tags are still on it. I also got some overalls, but the problem is there's the little stupid plastic thing that they didn't take off on the leg. You know what I'm talking about. So I haven't been able to wear them. I got them from Kohl's, though, because my grandma had Kohl's cash. So yeah, that's going to be... I'll, I'll probably post a picture of them sometime. But for now, just know I have overalls. Next, I got these beautiful white Converse. They're the high top ones. I had Converse, but they were turning brown. So I decided to get some new ones with my Christmas money. So I just got these. They still have that new shoe smell, even though I've worn them a few times already. So I'm trying to keep these as... Ew. I just noticed that hair. <laughs> I'm trying to keep these as white as I can. And this last clothing item I think is my favorite in the entire haul. And I got it on my vacation. It's these adorable pink Nike shoes. They're not even on the right side. But these are the Nike Air Max shoes. I don't know the exact name for them because I don't really follow that brand very well. But I'm absolutely in love with the color. These are the perfect pink mauvey color that I love so my heart is really content with even just these I am in love with them 
We're going to end this haul with some makeup and these are just some things that I've personally picked up over the past few months. Just some new products I wanted to try. The first thing that I picked up is the Flower Beauty Seal the Deal Long Lasting Setting Spray. I do really like this a lot. It's good for people that are oily and I saw this suggestion I think by Casey Holmes possibly is the one that suggested this. So I do like this one a lot. I still like the Morphe one. These kind of work similarly, so that's why I like this one. While I was in Tennessee, I went to Ulta and I saw that they got the new spray, the Mario Badescu spray. So this one is the orange one. It has aloe, sage, and orange blossom and it smells divine. It smells so good, so I had to get it. I have every other color, so that's why I got this one. I got this in a sample a long time ago in my Sephora play box, but I really enjoyed it, especially for my oily skin. I felt like it was the best primer I had in my collection at the time, and I wanted to pick up the full size, so it's the Peter Thomas Roth Skin to Die For No Filter Mattifying Primer and Complexion Perfector. Gotta say all of those things. So I really do enjoy this a lot. I knew I liked it, so that's why I picked up the full size. So yeah, that's what this is. I also got the Essence Make Me Brow in the shade Blonde. It says that's somewhere on this bottle, but I heard that this was a dupe for all of the high-end brow mascaras, and honestly, for brow mascara, I don't want to buy a high-end one. It's not something that I can really tell the difference on whether it works better or worse, so I love this one. It's $3. It's super cheap, so I got this just at Ulta the other day. I got the Benefit Dandelion Blush. It's just this shimmery blush. It's really pretty and dainty and pink. And I just really like this blush as a topper for another blush because I don't really like using shimmery blushes on their own on my already oily, shiny skin. So I use it on the top and I just dust it lightly over. I got a sample size of the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. I didn't want to get the full size because I didn't know if it was going to be too dark for my skin tone, so I wanted to try it out, and it is beautiful. I'm actually wearing it as the highlighter today, if you can see on my face, and me and my friend both got these little tiny sample sizes, and we are so glad we did. I also recently got the Glossier Wouter, and I'm still deciding if I like this. I like the powder, it definitely does a good job, however, I don't like the net in this powder. Let me see if I can show you without making a mess. It's just like it has that net there and I don't really like that. I don't know why, I just don't really like it, so I'm still deciding how I feel about the powder in general, but it's good. Lastly, my grandma actually bought this for me a few days ago while we were on our trip. It's the Tartlet in Bloom palette. This is just a great neutral palette. It's kind of warm tone, but a little bit cool tone at the same time. You can make two different types of looks with it. I used it on my eyes today, if you can see that. And I wanted something that was a little bit cool tone, but I also just wanted to try some Tarte eyeshadows because I've never tried them before. So I love this palette so far. I've only used it twice, but it's super good. That's the end of this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and let me know of any other video ideas you'd like to see from me, because I'd love to do this for you. Also, give me a thumbs up if you want to see this eye look, or just a look with my new palette. I'd love to do that for you as well. So that's it. I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye, guys.